Is it the end of collagen or is it actually a new beginning? I mean, your joints hurt, you're not recovering well, your joints feel stiff, your connective tissue feels stiff. You're just looking for something that might help you out a little bit. You're not looking for this magic bullet. I just had one of the leading protein scientists in the world on my channel and he absolutely shocked me when he was telling me what he found about collagen in a relatively recent study that he did, that he performed in his lab. So we're gonna talk about that. Then we're gonna talk about another study that came out in July of 2024, not that long ago. We're gonna really settle this whole collagen thing, at least from a perspective of recovery and from joint health and feeling good. And we'll talk about a couple other things. I'm not gonna dangle this along anymore. I'm gonna tell you the benefits of collagen are there and there's evidence there. But hear me out on it because I wanna teach you how to use it right. There is a practical application. Okay, first off, let's talk about Dr. Mike Ormsby's study. Dr. Mike Ormsby has a lab at Florida State University, well-known protein researcher. So the study that he's talking about in this clip was a double-blind, randomized controlled trial published in ISSN, which is International Society of Sports Nutrition. Very well done study where they took subjects and gave them a placebo or gave them 10 grams of collagen or 20 grams of collagen for a period of time. Now, they gave them the subjects that worked out somewhat regularly, people that worked out on average four hours per week. Now, the cool thing is, is this was an older population, age 40 to 65. They found some really interesting things. They found in a dose-dependent fashion, the activities of daily life score went up, the ADL score, and pain went down in a dose-dependent fashion. So the more collagen, the better their function in daily life was and a reduction in pain. Now, Dr. Mike Ormsby is a very nuanced researcher, and he flat out was saying like, the results were so significant that he could no longer naysay on collagen. Now, I've had people on this channel publicly naysay collagen, and this was really refreshing to hear. He also said that there was significant improvement in their physical activity, their physical health, and their mental health, probably because they were in less pain, and it was significant enough. The interesting thing is they did find that the sweet spot seemed to be 10 grams because at 20 grams there was a little more improvement but not as much of a jump from 10 to 20 grams as there was from zero to 10. 